In this, evening, in this evening's edition of the Health Report, we look at antibodies and COVID-19. Shamela Pullen reports. Antibodies are proteins created by your immune system. This helps to fight off infections. These antibodies are made after you have been infected or have been vaccinated against an infection like COVID-19. But not everyone who gets COVID-19 will develop adequate antibodies for this level of protection. It varies for different infections. So there are some SARS infections where antibodies will be there for a year or two years, whereas others will, have, will be present for a shorter period of time. At the moment, the, the feeling is that most persons will have antibodies for at least six months um, after getting exposed to COVID. Um, and it's just because it's a new virus that we just don't have all the answers just yet. And this is a challenge for some recovered COVID-19 patients who want to help others who are critically ill. Some of the, the successes that have made this very encouraging for us um, include being able to discharge persons from hospital in as little as three to five days after receiving plasma. We've had persons that we could remove from the intensive care unit um, to go on a regular ward because they no longer have virus when we test them after getting their, their convalescent plasma. So that has certainly been encouraging. And even if persons have antibodies after contracting COVID-19, Dr. Worf says persons should still protect themselves by following the guidelines. So you may have been exposed to somebody with the virus. The virus is sitting there. And if you have a vulnerable person, like an elderly person or somebody who is at high risk of having severe disease, you may be able to pass on that infection to them. So the protective things still need to take place, even if you had previously been exposed and have had antibodies or a T-cell response. As it relates to plasma donation, if you don't have adequate antibodies, Dr. Worf is encouraging persons to give blood for other causes. With your health report, I'm Shamela Pullen wishing you Good health.